After a week, Bilbo and Gandalf said farewell to Elrond and the elves. Back is to Legends and we are coming home. There's a long road ahead. But it's last road. And on the road, the land they were strolling through was green and lush. June had brought hot and bright weather once again. Bilbo knew the journey was coming to an end at last. He could see his own hill in the distance. In the distance. Those go ever, ever on, underclad and understar, yet feet that wandering have gone on. Turn at last to home afar, the eyes and force and fire have seen, and horror in the halls of stone. Look at last, meadows green, trees and hills we long have known. Bilbo, you're no longer the hobbit you were Bless before. Bless me, what's going on? Bilbo had arrived back in his hobbit hole in the middle of an auction. A notice was hung on his fence that must have scrubbed, grub, and burrows that on June 22nd, all of the late Bilbo Baggins possessions will be auctioned off at 10 o'clock. Now, nearly lunchtime, most of his belongings have already been sold for nearly nothing. The Saxville Bagginses, Bilbo's cousins, were seeing if their own belongings would fit in his hobbicle. Mr. Baggins' return caused quite a disturbance. In the end, the furniture, and mis mysteriously, many of his silver spoons disappeared. Bilbo had not only lost some spoons, but his reputation as well. He was forever a friend of the elves, dwarves, wizards, eagles, and lake men. But to Hogwarts, he was known as quite queer. He was quite content as well. Hanging in the fireplace, and his sword was hung on the mantelpiece. His gold and silver was spent on gifts, and his ring was kept a great secret. He took to writing poetry and told tales of his adventures. One oh, evening, you know, several years later, a knock came at his door. To you, Mr. Baggins. They fell to talking about their times, and Bill asked how the land of the mountain was. Bard has rebuilt the town of Dale, and the valley has become full of life once again. There is now a friendship between the elves, dwarves, and the lake men, and the master has come to a terrible end. Bard has given him a large amount of gold, but he had caught the terrible dragon disease. He was banished by his companions and left to die of starvation in the waste. The new master is very kind and very popular. Songs are being sung about during his ruling the, the, the river will flow with gold. And the prostitute. Surely you didn't disbelieve them because you were in them yourselves. After all, your adventures and escapes were by pure luck, just for your own. You're a very fine father and I'm quite fond of you. You're a little Thank goodness.